Well, hello friends. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We are at the allotment garden. Um, beautiful morning out. Sun is shining. It's going to be a warm one today, so we're out here bright and early. Um, I had a question uh, on one of my videos about what is an allotment garden. Uh, allotment garden is something that like they do over in the UK it's where they can rent a plot to garden in um, mine is sort of like that here uh, as you know that this allotment garden is my brother's land and he wanted to learn a little more about gardening and growing his own food so where most um, allotment gardens is where people will actually pay rent to rent that for the year. Well, ours is sort of like that. Um, in exchange for teaching him how to grow his own food for his family, I was able to use a section of the garden, half the garden basically, uh, for my own family to grow food. So, it's kind of like a bartering system here in the U.S. Um, in the U.S., we tend to call allotment gardens, uh, community gardens, um, shared gardening, things like that. Um, so, that's basically what an allotment garden is. is you rent a, a plot of land off of the owner and are able to have yourself a bigger garden. Um, mine's not so much rent per se, it's more of like kind of a barter system, shared system, but it all equals out to being what the UK and the people in that part of the world, that's just the term that they use for pretty much the same thing. Now we have not done a garden tour for a while, and, um, I thought it would be a good day to do that. Time has gotten away from me. It is a busy part of the year for my job. Lots of lots of summer cleaning and getting the schools prepared for when the kiddos come back. So the garden has gotten a little bit wild. But that's okay. Because wild gardens still grow food, right? By the way, if you're new here, please reach down there hit that subscribe button or up here I don't know where it's gonna be in the video somewhere and leave me a comment and let me see what your gardens are doing and tell us how they're coming along um, we're always excited to get new friends here on the channel so please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell too so that way you don't miss any of the videos so we're gonna head on over and we're going to look at this wild garden. Um, I'm going to be showing you some of the stuff. It has bloomed. We have had so much rain. Um, more rain than what we're used to. Um, it's caused a little bit of damage in some of the plants. Um, I like to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know, it, being real here. So you're going to see that some of the tomato plants I, I noticed um, may have some blight. Um, I'll end up probably have to pull those out. But even though the rain is great for your garden, too much rain is mm, not so great. But we'll work with what we got. Let's go look at this wild garden. First step is the herb box. When we were talking about rain... You see that? This is an older herb box, so it probably should have had a little more reinforcement, but you live and learn. All the rain got too heavy, and as you can see, the whole bottom fell out. Luckily, only two of our herbs was in this garden growing productively, so we were able to find them and bring them up here so this was one of the herbs that was down there for a wild time 
and it is blooming doing wonderful I've already dehydrated a lot of this delicious flavor and then the other one says oregano here we'll just take that out because we had to move it up this is the sage it's looking healthy and abundant as well that was also in the lower garden um, but we were able to bring it up and we make sure that it was able to survive and then we have our parsley over here we have trimmed down so it looks like there's not much there but it'll come back and then our dill and our chives so when I say that it's wild it is definitely wild now our peas are done for the first round for the season um, because it got so hot we do have a couple peas left on the thing which I'll pick today but I'm going to show you this wild garden y'all it is really blooming but I love it there's that wild and crazy garden and all the tomato plants there lots of blooms on them we got our zucchinis and our cucumbers, corn, peppers. We'll go ahead and go in here and get a closer look at it. So there's the couple of pea pods that are still left that I'll be harvesting today to add to my stash. But if we go over here, you'll see, see how they're yellowing out. and So they're pretty much done for this season well not the whole season I should say but we can replant them in the fall and get another harvest here is one of our green beans that are starting to bloom now getting some flowers on it this one we didn't think was going to make it because something had chewed the top of the head part of the plant off but it bounced back so it shows you that it can be determined that they want to grow. So if it's meant to be, it will happen. Alright, so here is um, some of our tomato plants. We have a tomato baby. But you can see there's lots of blooms on these. Like I said, this has really gotten away from me more than I would like. So we will be um, pruning them today, getting any suckers that are out, and shaping them up. And also we'll be, as you can see, our Florida weave going on right here with the string. I'll be taking those on up the trellis so that they can keep on growing and it's worked out pretty good. We'll see how it does once the tomatoes get on there and gets heavy. And over here, we have our zucchini. And let's look here. You can see that there's blossoms. There's little bit, or not zucchini, cucumbers. I always say the difference in both of those. I don't know why I do that. But anyway, we have a cucumber, start, a baby cucumber grown, but plenty of blossoms and baby cucumbers starting to really come up and the tendrils are grabbing a hold of the yarn which is good because it gives it a good stable place to keep growing up the Florida weave and there is the zucchini there I said it right <laughs> but anyway the zucchini's got a lot of blossoms coming on back here it's huge it's beautiful Got a little bit of light going on the leaf here. Um, like I said, too much rain can do that. But we're going to just work with it and make the best as we can do. So this is only two zucchini plants here. And they're filling up the space nicely. Um, but yeah, 
Hopefully we'll be having some zucchini going soon. I like to make zucchini bread and fried zucchini. We have peppers. Look at that. A couple of the plants have peppers already starting. A little pepper down here. And they're not quite ready yet. I could harvest it now, but I'm going to give it another day or so. But they are looking good. That's exciting. I was here yesterday, and I didn't see those, so I must have overlooked them. Of course, I was in a hurry, too, but nice. See any over here yet? section of the garden and that's the other peppers that we have no peppers on those yet I'm sure we'll get them in plenty of time and in abundance but yeah oh I forgot one thing our corn I'm going to show you this here look at that big boy And the corn's coming up nicely. I'm excited. We've never grown corn before. But it's looking good. And that's really it as far as the allotment garden. Like I said, it's wild. Um, I'll be weeding today. Um, and finishing up some of the Florida weed to take it on up for the tomatoes to continue to grow. And I'll take you along with that. I won't take you along with the weeding just because that's a boring task. And everybody knows you got to weed a garden if you don't have the uh, fabric down, which we didn't do this year. If we continue to use this section of the garden next year, I'll definitely do that. Saves a lot of time and back aches. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and uh, weed some of this and then um, in a, well it'll be a few seconds for you, I'll bring you back and we'll start trimming the tomatoes and doing the Florida weave. Right, so I just went ahead and went and got my yarn. Um, you can use twine for this too. They do have a garden twine for this. <coughs> Excuse me. But what I'm going to do is just start right here. The dogs are playing so you're going to hear them playing around. We're just going to bring this on up about 10 to 12 inches. And you probably won't be able to see this part too well. Um, so when I get up here, because the way that I have the camera set up, I'll show you more. So what I'm doing is going to wrap this around. Like I said, 10 to 12 inches from the second or the last row that I just did. So we're knotted on here. Good and tight. We'll take our yarn. several passes you can do three you can do four whatever makes your heart content just keep wrapping it around so you get a nice solid thing here my yarn decided to clump up on me that's the bad thing about using yarn but as you know if you've watched my channel I use what we have and make best with it. So we're going to go ahead and get this separated. There we go. And bring it around. Then we're going to tighten it up just by pulling it. Get it good and tight here. I do need to get a different stake. 
this one broke off, so I'm going to have to bring one over and get a taller one for that. But then you're going to go ahead and cut the edge and knot it around your string. And I do this like three times just to make sure that it's good and solid. It's just other stuff here. So there you have it. You have your string here. And what will happen is the tomato plant or plant whatever you're growing will uh, climb up that. Get this off of here. And you can use it kind of to stabilize your plants. We got the weaving done and I'll show you that in just a second and now I'm going to start going through and pruning up some of these tomatoes. Like I said the garden has gotten a little wild on me but we're going to get those suckers. If you watched that video please go back and uh, you'll know what a sucker is. So I'm going to go ahead and flip you around and show you what I did with the weave and that's what I did. And let's get down here to these tomatoes. Now this one here, I'm not too worried about. This is a Roma tomato, so indeterminate. You do not need to prune those um, because they only grow so tall and produce so much fruit. Uh, pull this over here. Let's look and see if we have, like, see this down here? We don't need all this. We need to cut this off so that we can get good airflow at the bottom of our plant. <clears throat> Excuse me. That will prevent a lot of diseases in your tomato plants. But you want plenty of airflow down at the bottom. Sorry I moved you around so much there, guys. Um, but you definitely want to get airflow down at the bottom so that your plant can be healthy. So I'm going to continue going down these two rows of wild tomato plants. And we're going to shape them up and get them going up the sort of weave so that they can get good growth and produce lots of lots of tomatoes for us. So after about two hours, I finally got the wild garden cleaned up a little. I'm going to turn you around and show you the pruning that I did. And if you look, rewind and look in the beginning, you'll see that it was real, the tomatoes especially were real bushy, full. Um, I pruned them so that you can get good airflow through the bottom because tomato plants need airflow. It helps prevent fungus and and uh, blight from growing. So um, I'll turn you around and let you see that. And it's not as bushy. But what I'm talking about is um, you want your plant to have about 10 to 12 inches at the bottom. And that doesn't have a lot of leaves and things so you can get that airflow. And I see a sucker that I forgot. Get that out of there. So as this grows, right now we're about five inches, but as it grows, we'll keep trimming the bottom so that we get up to about right here or so, and that will all be trimmed down. But yeah, they're looking good. Got all the suckers out of there. We don't need them. And uh, I want to show you one of the tomato plants that um, I did take a sucker from and started replanted it in the soil just to see how well it would do. And here it is. So that was from one of the suckers that I pulled from the garden. And I just replanted it and made sure that it kept nice and moist in the soil and it rooted and it started growing again. So, or continuing growing, I should say. So we should.
should have a nice tomato plant out of that. That concludes the video today on the allotment garden. Um, we'll do another video maybe on another day for the apartment garden that I have going on. My husband did put the DE, Diamaceous Earth, on the apartment garden bed because we were noticing a lot of potato bugs. Some people call them moly polies or something, the little gray bugs. Um, and I noticed some slugs that were crawling around. So that'll be in another video. And today we're just going to sit and enjoy this beautiful sunshine on a nice summery day. Got some errands to do later. Go get some breakfast for the family. Normally I like to make breakfast, but this morning I think we're just going to go and pick up some breakfast. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. I have been contemplating on uh, maybe making more videos during the week. So leave a comment below. Let me know if you'd like to see some different videos. As you know, I bake. I ferment. Um, once the garden gets going, you'll see some more fermenting videos. Dehydrate. Freeze. Um, anything that can have some self-reliance um, and growing food for the family. Um, I think that I'm going to be making a dessert this week for another cookout at work. The last cookout was a hit and everyone enjoyed the dessert that I brought. So I think I'm in charge of that again. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you would like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any other videos. And I hope you all have a wonderful week. And if you want to see more videos during the week instead of just one every Friday, let me know. Um, I can continue doing just the Friday videos, but that's all up to you all. If you want to see more, please comment below, let me know, and we will start maybe adding another video during the week, maybe midweek or so. So, love you all. I hope you have a blessed week. And as always, share, share, share.